Good afternoon, students. Today we are going to study Unit 3, Past Tenses, Art and Literature, Giving Opinions. The past simple. First of all, the past simple. The past simple is used to express. Number one, a finished action in the past. A finished action in the past means... عمل أو فعل منتهي في الوقت الماضي. For example, we met in 2000. I went to Manchester last week. John left two minutes ago. You see here the verbs are all in the simple past. Met, went, and left. Number two, actions that follow each other in a story. Means that actions, أفعال أو أعمال that follow each other in a story إنه يتبع الواحد الثاني في قصة ما. For example, Mary walked in the room and stopped. You see here that simple past walked and stopped follow each other in a story. She listened carefully, then she heard the noise uh, coming from behind the curtain, then she threw the curtain open, and then she saw. So you see here that these simple past verbs follow each other in a story. Number three, a past situation or habit. يعني موقف. في الماضي or habit habit here يعني uh, something that you always do when I was a child we lived in a small house by the sea every day I played on the beach with my brother so you see here was lived and played are all simple past verbs so a past situation or habit here a habit. Every day I played on the beach with my brother means that you always played with his brother. This use is often expressed with used to. This use, a past situation or habit, is often expressed with used to. For example, we used to live in a small house. I used to walk for miles. And we have next the past continuous, الماضي المستمر. First of all, to express activities in progress. In progress means activities which are continued before and probably after a particular time in the past. For example, at 7 o'clock this morning, I was having my breakfast. I walked past your house last night there was an awful lot of noise what were you doing so first of all the past continuous is used to express activities in progress before and probably after a particular time in the past number two for descriptions lil wasof for example jan looked beautiful she was wearing a green cotton dress. So you see here was wearing is describing Jan of what was she wearing. She was wearing a green cotton dress. Her eyes were shining. Were shining here is describing Jan's eyes. In the light of the candles that were burning nearby. Burning here were burning is describing the candles so for descriptions Jan looked beautiful she was wearing a green cotton dress her eyes were shining in the light of the candles that were burning nearby number three to express an interrupted past activities interrupted here what is the meaning of interrupted something that is discontinued يعني انقطعت. When the phone rang, I was having a shower. So here 
is an interrupted past activity. While we were playing tennis, it started to rain. So they were interrupted by the rain while they were playing tennis. Number four, to express an incomplete activity. In the past, in order to contrast with the past simple that expresses a completed activity. Contrast here means differentiate. Differentiate. تناقض. For the past continuous. Here is an example. I was reading a book during the flight. Means I didn't finish the book. And here the past simple or simple past. I watched a film during the flight. Means that I watched the whole film. So here we contrast between the past continuous and the past simple. Note, the past simple is usually used to express a repeated past habit or situation, as we said before. But, but the past continuous can be used if the repeated habit becomes a longer setting for something. So when you can compare between the past simple and the past con continuous, the past simple is used for a short action and the past continuous is used for a longer action. For example, I studied English for 10 years. Here is the past simple and the past continuous. An example of the past continuous, I first met Harry while I was studying English. Here it is a longer setting. Past simple or past continuous. Sometimes we can use the past simple or the past continuous. The past simple focuses on past actions as simple facts. Means, الماضي البسيط يركز على الأفعال أو الأعمال الماضية كحقائق بسيطة أو حقائق ثابتة. The past continuous focuses on the duration of past situations and activities. لكن الماضي المستمر يركز على الفترة الزمنية أو الفترة الزمنية أو المدة الزمنية للمواقف والأفعال الماضية. For example, when we compare these two sentences, A. I didn't see you at the meeting last night. No. The answer is no. I stayed at home and watched football. That is, the past simple focuses on past actions as simple fact. What, what is the simple fact here? That I stayed at home and watched football. That is a fact. Number two, or example two. I didn't see you at the meeting last night. Here is the past continuous, the answer in the past continuous. No, I was watching football at home. So here the past continuous focuses on the duration of the past situations or activities. Number two, questions in the past simple and past continuous refer to different time periods. So they refer to different time periods. Periods, يعني uh, إلى أوقات مختلفة. The past continuous asks about activities before. So the past continuous asks about activities before. The past simple asks about what happened after. That is the difference between the past simple and the past continuous. The past continuous asks about activities before and the past symbol simple asks about what happened after so here is an example when his father died peter was studying medicine at medical school here is a past continuous sentence he decided that it was better to go home to his mother and postpone his study so you see here 
the past simple here the verb decided asks what happened after what did ha happen after he went home to his mother and postponed his study but the past continuous asks about activities before what did peter do peter was studying medicine at medical school 